other questions? Uh, right here. Um, after the next generation, did you go out for any roles in the following Star Trek series? I did. Actually, um, the great thing about Julie Larry Johnson and Ron Sermon, the people that did casting for Next Gen, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, is um, it has been so long, it's no problem to talk about it. Um, I was up after being an ensign, dying terribly, and the famous red shirt and all that cool shit, all that cool Star Trek shit. Um, I was up for uh, the Chakotay part uh, that Robert Beltran had. And I know Robert, um, we have ex girlfriends in common and shit. We like, like, know each other really well, like, like, like that well. And uh, I was happy, man, that a brother got a great job playing this. Uh, he, he made the character like not just Native American, but like sort of Latin Native American. And I'm Latin Italian, so I, I was like, that's kind of cool. Because uh, my guy wasn't Latin per se. I mean, my, my name on Next Gen was Ensign Dern. Maybe, you know? But um, yeah, Voyager was up in Chicote, and um, the uh, films, you know, they, they, they would talk to me about reading for stuff. And even I would, I, again, I take this way too seriously, but being a Trekkie my whole life, um, or Trekker, for those of you that have a sick of your ass. Um, <laughs> I, um, I, I actually had meetings where they were saying, like, you know, you should be in this one scene in First Contact. And I'm like, if I saw the guy that died, um, you know, <laughs> next gen, hanging out on Earth, you know, eating with Troy or some shit, I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> and I kind of hate that because it happens. It happens in Star Trek all the time where you're like, the evil villain, you know, was, you know, sleeping with Troy two episodes ago or something. You know, and you're like, what's going on? Maybe that's why he's eating. Okay. Uh, question. Right there. As a Trek fan, how do you feel about the new movie? I dug it. I, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I, I, I don't have any problems. I've been waiting for Star Trek babies for a long time. And, and you know, that's what I call the movie because it's like, that's what everybody can want to see, young Kirk, young Spock. They've been debating it, how to do it. Uh, this, the script, I mean, being in show business, I see a lot of scripts and shit. The script originally, before J.J. Abrams got anywhere near it, uh, was horrible. And it was like, I'm not kidding, this is totally fun. Are there other Trekking fans or the Star Trek fans in the house? Okay, cool, because I don't want to be like talking about that if you guys are like, go back to Dom. <laughs> uh, not that shit. <laughs> you know, you're old. All right, so, um, Star, Star Trek, um, they, the, the script for the, uh, the Star Trek Babies, okay, script, was um, Kirk and Spock, uh, Shatner and McCoy, uh, Shatner, Shatner and, what's his fucking name, Nimoy? Shatner and Nimoy, um, chilling around the campfire, literally. <laughs> and, and, and DeForest Kelly wasn't, it was just them two, they're like, we need Spock and Kirk, we do not need anybody else, okay? Seriously. And they would have them at the opening of the movie going, Remember what it was like back in the Starfleet years? <laughs> Seriously. And then, and then, and this, I'm almost remembering this verbatim because it really burned my ass. Then Spock is like, it was a highly illogical time, wasn't it? <laughs> no, nauseating. And, and then all of a sudden, like Matt Damon was running around as fucking Kirk. He was, he was supposed to be Kirk. Matt Damon, yeah. or if you, those of you that have seen Team America World Police, yeah. Matt Damon. So he's, he's, him being a young Kirk is just too bizarre, you know. But uh, yeah, so there's there's the Star Trek story.